Just music. I want you to know that he is the open door. I am the door for you to enter in. I am the truth and the life. I am your shepherd. I am your friend. I'm here to restore your life. I am the door for you to enter in. I am the truth and the life. I am your shepherd, I am your friend, I'm here to restore your
welcome 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 it's wednesday night and it's an amazing what a great day it is today has been we thank you everyone who has tuned in tonight all those you of you who are fellowship with, with us tonight we thank you for joining us there's something amazing and great that god is doing in our midst and we thank you that you've chosen the destiny empowerment worship center to feed on the word of god Good evening, good evening. He is the I am. He is the way, the truth, and the life. And I thank you guys for joining us tonight. It's Wednesday night. It's Bible study, and I'm totally excited for what God is going to do in our midst. There's a word that's going to come forth. And with me, I have none other than Apostle Sean Soberis, one of the shepherds of the Destiny Empowerment Worship Center. I hope you guys have been having a fantastic week. You know, that word that was preached on Sunday by a friend of our ministry, um, Bishop Mott from Family Christian Center. Man, that was a word that just set me on fire. And I know that you guys received so much by that word. And it has kept us, and it keeps aligning us, positioning us, and wow. That's all I have to say. That's what God's word does to us, you know. It, it, it makes us sometimes so baffled, yes. yes. So tonight we have a word that's coming forward. If you look right in the description, you will see that tonight we'll be talking on building foundations. But even before we get to that, um, I just want to welcome some of the people who are already tuning in. You know, we want to um, encourage you guys to, to like, to share this live with persons. It doesn't have to be members of the ministry. It doesn't have to be a person who is part of this religious faith, but you share this life. You encourage others to hear the word of God. Let their life be transformed by the same food that is feeding you. So tonight we have so many people joining us. I see so many persons on leadership. I see Deaconess Beverly. I see Pastor Keziah. Good evening. Good evening to you all. I see Petra, Roseanne Lee. Good, good evening to you guys. Sherry, good evening. We miss all you guys so much. We have also Deborah, Deborah Allison Forbes. She's joining us tonight. We have Tula. We miss you so much, Tula. We hope that you're staying safe. Family. Family, <laughs> juicy families in the building. And we are so excited that you guys are tuning in tonight. Uh, we see a naughty tutor. She's tuning in. Thank you for tuning in tonight. You know, you know what I love about doing church virtually it's that so many people are able to be part yeah. of it yeah. so many people are yeah. able to watch at their own time too even if you miss the broadcast you can just go to destiny empowerment worship center page you can like the page and you can view all of all of our services that we've been having since yes. the quarantine even yes. before there's so much material that we have on the page of Oslo. And we want you guys to share that. There are people who are being blessed. There are people who are hopeless. There are people who are in a place of emptiness. Yeah. There are people who are in a place of sickness and they need the word of God. The word of God is potent, is power, is sharper than any two-edged sword. Yes. And yes. this word is what we need in a time of this, the accuracy, the potency of this word. So I want to encourage you guys to continue to share, tune in, get your notepads out, write, document, journal, all that God is saying and in your own time you pray you know one thing that um, we practice in the Jew Center um, Apostle Sean is that we pray the Word of God yes. we pray the Word of God yeah. as it is we pray the Word of God and you know another thing that has been helping me in in this time of quarantine is that I shifted the way that I look at the Word of God mm -hmm. you know if I see a scripture and it says he does this I say no Nisa does this. <laughs> Nisa nice. does this. Nice. So it's I a like, more like. of a deepened listening that I've been practicing. And I'm telling you, that has been changing my life. Because when you voice out that word, when you speak that word, when you declare that word, this affirmation, this validation yeah. that is happening. So yeah. I want to encourage you guys to speak the word of God. Declare the word of God. The word of God was there even before you were born. It was there 2,000 years ago. And it's still here today. And Nothing can relevant. be. Su yeah, it that's the thing relevant. about it. it Nothing can be subtracted. Yeah. Nothing can be added. To well, I guess. It can be added to in, for, in the form of revelation, revelation of the Holy revelation. Spirit, but nothing can be subtracted to it. Yeah. 
So I want to encourage you guys that the word of God is so important. And as we speak on tonight, building foundations, we're going to use examples straight from the word of God yeah. and show you how God intends to build you and how God is, intends to establish you. Because that is so important. When you are established by God, there's nothing that can shake you. Yeah. So I thank you guys for tuning. I see some other people are tuning in tonight. I see Joan Haywood. Marcel, Sister I John, Marcel. what's happening, Sister John? How are you doing? Good to see it's you. Been I a see while. Mariah, uh, Minister Mariah. Thank you for tuning in. I see see me. So many people are tuning in tonight, you know, and I'm so encouraged by you guys just joining here tonight and ready. I hope you guys are on fire. If you're on fire and ready to hear this word tonight, just type in the comments below and say, I am ready for this word to transform my life. Type that right now in the comments. I'm ready for this word to transform my life. Apostle. Yeah. Wow, that was a lot. We want to thank you for being here yes. tonight. And all those of you on the live, thank you so yeah. much. Uh, yeah. Prophetess uh, Michelle just took a good break. Yeah. We should be back on, on Friday again. Um, the Lord has been doing so much. You know, we have different platforms that we're on, different people's live that, we that we've been on from uh, different parts of the world. And so sometimes we have midnight that we're on, on, you know, and so we've been going. Trust me, we've been going. Yeah. Um, but it is a joy. Today I ha I went I went I went to the church, the brick and the martyr today. And man, I I stood in there just for a moment because I realized how much I missed. I haven't really gone there much. Yeah. Um, I can understand. You know, I realized that. how much I miss you guys, how yeah. much I miss the environment, you know. Yeah. And I'm like, whoa, you know. Yeah. But um God is good, God is faithful, and God will continue to do what he has to do in us and through us. So tonight right. we wanna get That's we wanna right. dive That's into right. the word of God. But let's pray before we do such. Let's pray. Father, we just honor, we give you the glory. Thank you, God, for this day that you have made. God, we've never seen, we've never lived this day before. And we thank you, God, for your goodness. We thank you for life. We thank you, God, for your keeping grace. I pray tonight, God, that even as we, we sit on this word tonight, that you will speak through us. Oh God, that you will reveal to your people what you need to reveal tonight, oh God, in your hearts and in their lives. Lord God, there's someone out yes. there that needs this word tonight. And I pray, God, that even as they will tune in, they will scroll through whatever the case may be, Amen. even if it's for a minute, five minutes, let there be something that will transform their destinies Amen. for the better. Oh God, we, we decrease and we say, Spirit of God, increase in us. Yeah. Oh God, yeah. tonight, yeah. I pray for those that are watching, those that are listening tonight. I pray, God, that, that you will open up, cause their spirit to be open tonight, to receive that which you want them to receive, that will propel them to the next level in their, in their destiny. In Jesus' name, amen, amen. 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 Breathe afresh right now, in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. So tonight, we're going to be talking, we're going to be just, you know, have, you know, you know how we do it, we have a dialogue. <laughs> um, we're going to be talking about uh, building your foundations. Um, you know, uh, on Sunday, I really thank God for my brother, my, my friend, Apostle Bishop, indeed, Dr. Indeed. Mott from indeed, uh, New indeed, Rochelle. Indeed, indeed, indeed. Um, he started talking about divine um, mm -hmm. disruptions. And um, I, I, you know, I, I really enjoyed it. I enjoyed what he was saying. It's That's like so he, he, he sort of so like packed everything that we were saying for everything, the last couple everything, of weeks. Everything. And, and it, it, was, it was phenomenal. I want you to go That's back. Right. I want to encourage you to go back and to listen to, to the word. Amen. Um, also, most of what we've been recording here, um, you know, what, what we've been doing here, the live is on YouTube. You can go to YouTube, oh, yeah. uh, do That's worship, so uh, so the true. page. You please subscribe. Yeah. Also, you can you can get it there. You can share it with your friends and family and, and stuff like that. You know, there's something happening um, in the earth realm. And when I say in the earth realm, it's not outside of us, but it's no. in us. There's in something us. happening right. right now. That's so true. And That's so true. we are excited about it. It's a new it's a new thing that is happening. Yes. You know, it, it is it, uh, some of from some of you. You're experiencing um, new a new vibe. Let me put it that way. You know, a new vibe, and that, that, that's the kind of vibe you get, you know. And it is a time for you to really push out like never before. Yeah. But tonight, let's go into the word of God. I want we want to begin it in, in the book of Matthew, Matthew chapter 16. And this is a very familiar, very familiar um, passage, passage of scripture, that's so true. but we're gonna be, be, begin to pull out some things tonight so that you can you can grasp what the spirit of the Lord is saying mm -hmm. to you. Are uh, you want to read it, or you want me to? Yeah, read? I'm gonna read. Um, <clears throat> Matthew, we're reading from the book of Matthew chapter 16, verse 13 to 19, and I'm going to read it from the Amplified. And it says, Now when Jesus went into the region of Caesarea Philippi, 
he asked his disciples, Who do people say that the Son of Man is? And they answered, Some say John the Baptist, others Elijah, and still others Jeremiah, mm -hmm. or just one of the prophets. He said to them, But who do you say that I am? Simon Peter replied, You are the Christ, the Messiah, the Anointed, mm. the Son of the Living God. Then Jesus answered him, Blessed, happy, spiritual, secure, favored by God, are you, Simon, son of Jonah? Because flesh and blood mortal man did not reveal this mm -hmm. to you, mm -hmm. but my Father who is in heaven. Yeah. Yeah. And I say to you that you are Peter, and on this rock I will build my church, and the gates of Hades, death, will not overpower it by preventing the resurrection of the Christ. Yeah. I will give you the keys, authority of the kingdom of heaven, and whatever you bind, forbid, declare to be improper and mm -hmm. unlawful on earth will yes. have already been bound in heaven. And whatever you loose, permit, declare lawful on earth mm -hmm. will have mm -hmm. already been loosed in heaven. That's Matthew chapter 16, verse 13 to 19. You know, um, this, most of you, you would have read this sometime, maybe in Sunday school or wherever. Yeah. But as we talk about tonight, as we talk about building foundations, That's so true. We, are, we, are, we are looking at it from the perspective of, of growth, us growing right. up. Um, as, I, as, I, as I went into the city today and I went into the, into the church, the building, mm -hmm. that was one of the things that was kind of like going over my spirit. The, because I felt like what, just going in there, there was, it's like it was another level. I'm, I'm in a yeah. different place. I'm not the same person. Yeah. And one of the things that, that stood out is, is the fact that there is growth taking place. That's so true. And I want you to understand, and I want you to understand tonight that in spite of what is happening in you and around you, that you're growing. That's right. You are growing. You are mm -hmm. growing. Your mind is, is expanding. I'm so telling you, you are growing. Whatever you're feeding on at yes. this time, it's building, building. It's, it's, it's yes. building you. So that's why you have to be very careful what you feed on. Yeah. What you, what type of diet you have That's at this so time? True. Because you're growing. Yeah. Many of you, you're not the same. I know some people are growing in other places. Well, help us, Jesus. But the truth of the matter is that we are growing. We are yes. growing. The, our word level is growing. Our yes. faith is growing. Yeah. Our confidence is confidence is growing. Yeah. You know. And here we see the scripture is very, very clear. Jesus said, He said, um, He said to them, and 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 everyone was answering. Everybody was answering. Yeah. But then. Um, uh, 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 here we see uh, where, where we say says, "Who do you say that I am?" Yeah. And 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 the question was being asked, and and here Peter jumped up. He said, "Listen, I don't know, but it's like he's saying I don't know about everybody else, mm -hmm. but what I know is that what they're saying that's not the case. I know who you are. This this exactly. basically, and I'm, I'm paraphrasing here. But this basically speaks of the, the growth and the relationship because he walked exactly. with God." Exactly. Because he walked with Jesus, and and because he spent so much time, um, he was able to, re to 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 speak from another place. Yeah, he was speaking from a place of relationship. That's Amen. True. We are going That's somewhere true. with this tonight, and That's I really true. want you to to stay on the line. Get your Bibles out. Yeah. I, I gotta say this for some of us. Yeah. Some of us we just scroll through, this, you know, and we 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 don't we don't uh, take the time to pick up our Bibles and go through the scripture. I want to encourage you to go through the scriptures. Amen. There's, there, there are things that you can grasp from this. Yeah. Amen. So he said here, he asked his disciples, and these were men that were walking with him. These were men that, that saw him in his different um, stages, yeah. you know. But the question was being asked, he says, um, he asked him, he says, who do people say that the Son of Man is? Mm -hmm. And they answered, and the Bible said that some, some I mean, and they, they started they saying so many different, examples. different examples. Mm -hmm. But then Peter stood up and he said, you know, um, you are the son of the living God. And Jesus knew that this was not something that, 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 that came from, from just the natural, mm -hmm. but it came from his spiritual experience that he had, the yes. intimacy that he had, the relationship yes. that he had. That's and true. the question will be asked in this mm -hmm. time. The questions will be asked. And, and when, the, when the questions are asked in this season, yeah. uh, we have to respond in, in the right manner. You That's know what right. I'm saying? That's right. That's right. We have to re respond. It. And so he said, he said, some, some are saying this, some are saying that. But Jesus says, so who do you say that I am? And he says, listen, yo, you are the Christ. And then because of the way he responded, mm -hmm. 
Jesus went on further to give added instructions yeah. or information. You see, so it, it's, it begins somewhere. It starts somewhere. All right, and we get into something tonight. It starts somewhere. And the question will be asked, who are you? Who, who's this God to you in this time? Exactly. Where people are scrolling through, they're, they're scrolling through the Facebook. They're, you know, things are happening around and all of that. But right now, right now, with all that is taking place, you know, um, nations are on lockdown. Um, you know, there, there's an economic uh, downturn and all these different things. But the question that has been asked, who is God to you? Exactly. What is your relationship with God? Mm -hmm. You know, um, when you sit with people, mm -hmm. um, they might not ask it directly, but really and truly, they want to know wh wh where's your stand with God? That's right. You know, in all that is happening, nations are locking down, mm -hmm. uh, people are dying, and uh, people are, the, the question would be, what's your relationship like? What's your yeah. answer? What's your take on all that is happening? And I'm telling you, beloved, um, we will have to answer, give an answer, and the answer cannot be from, from a place of carnality. It has to be from a place from a re of relationship that we have with God. Yeah, you know? and you know, um, Apostle, what I love about this specific story here is that the people that, uh, the people that responded to Jesus' question when he asked, who do people say that the Son of Man is? Mm -hmm. It's not that Jesus wanted validation about what people or who people saw him was or if right. he was another one. But I believe that when Peter answered Jesus, that he realized that he had had a divine encounter. Encounter, he that's had right. A, he that's had right. a divine encounter with that's Christ, right. which shifted everything that he knew about God. It was no longer, oh, I, I know God to be this because of what people have said about him. But it was more of a personal experience. That's that the word I was going to guess. A personal experience. He had a experience. personal That's experience it. with God. That's why he was able to identify that Jesus, you're not a Jeremiah. You're not another prophet or anything like that. But you are the Messiah. You are the, the Christ. Yeah, yes. you are the anointed yes. one. Yes. See, I, he was able to identify Jesus for who he was mm -hmm. or who he is yeah. because of the, the divine encounter and the relationship and the level of intimacy that had been established because he was walking with God. And then that 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 thing had to be established. That relationship had to be established over, over time. Pe over time. Over, over a period time. of time. But I believe know. it was yeah. more of a, an epiphany or a light bulb moment for him yes. when this question was asked because it's like, okay, I've been seeing this. You're with I, me. I, 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 I'm witnessing <laughs> this. I'm doing. Right. I, I'm doing all this. But wait, hold hold up, hold up a second. Mm -hmm. This you asked me this question and it brought everything together about who Jesus actually is. And I think that moment shifted some things in, in Peter. Exactly. It, shift, it shifted some yes, things. Exactly. Because it was a to, drawing the, moment. Yes, yes. It was a drawing moment. I, I believe that his heart even changed in that moment because he had this new revelation of who Christ was. Yes. And I believe that's why Christ went on to speak in that way after because he was confirming what he was already speaking to Peter's spirit in that moment. And and it, it brought Christ into the place to uh, where he, he, he was able to say, I can trust this one. And so on yeah. this rock, yeah, I will build. Exactly. On this rock, I can, I can, because of the, because of your response, response because of yes. your, your intimacy, because of your yes. encounter, because mm -hmm. of the way in which you responded, I can trust you to build. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> you know, he said, and, I can, go ahead. And even more so, it, as, as Peter responded, um, God was able to not only trust him with building, but trust him with the revelation because of how he handled it. Because that was revealed to Peter in that moment. Yes. But he was not afraid to actually speak about it. Mm -hmm. He was not afraid to materialize that which w was revealed to him in his spirit. That's right. That's so God right. was able to trust and That was a level of obedience right there to see exactly what the spirit was revealing to him. And, and the question will be asked to us in this season. And, and based on our response, and it's not, you know, it's, it's not so much of what you say, Exactly. But it's 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 how you respond overall That's true. will determine That's so true. the the, That's the so next true. measure or the next yes. dimension yes. of revelation mm -hmm. that God will will and when we talk about revelation, revealing of who God is yeah. that God is going to reveal to you mm -hmm. you know it's going to release to you mm -hmm. so the questions will be asked and based on how we respond in this hour yeah. I'm telling you um, this is a time where. Uh, we got to get ourselves together. We have to. We have to. Because um, 
people are going to be, be saying all sorts of stuff. That's and if true. we're not careful, we can be, yeah. be pulled in all different directions. Yeah. You know, I'm telling you something. Like, I, I've been saying this for, you know, I was looking at some of the live streams. I've been saying this for a little while. Yeah. Some people are very confused right now. <laughs> They're very confused. And we we the called out one, the ecclesia, the, the ones that have been called out. And we're going to get to some scriptures. Yeah. We have to have an answer. That's we it. have to have a now ready answer, you know, and, and, to this, and to say this is what God is saying. Yeah. Because people are walking around and they're trying to determine what is it that God is saying. Yeah. You know, people are looking, they're scrolling through and, 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 and you know, they listen to this body. But you have to have this direct encounter with God, That's this right. one-on-one -on -one encounter. Right. And That's you have right. to be able to respond in the correct mm -hmm. manner, you know. That's right. That's right. Yeah. And so it went on to say, and he says... Um, but who do you say that I am? And Peter answered and replied to him. Then Jesus answered and said, Because of this, you are, you, you are, you are blessed. Uh -huh. um, <laughs> and this, yeah, and secure. Exactly. Because flesh and blood did not reveal this to you, but yes. my Father who is in, in heaven. heaven. Yeah. And I say to you, because of your response, he said, I say to you that you are Peter. You are, and, and on this rock, I will establish my church. I will mm -hmm. establish the ecclesia. I'm yeah. going to establish the called right. out ones. That's right. The called out ones I'm going to establish. And because yeah. I'm going to establish, listen to this. He says, and the gates of hell will, will not, not prevail. prevail or will not be able to um, uh, overpower it. Yes. Are you hearing me? And then, he, and then he went on further to say, I'm going to give you the keys or I'm going to give you the authority of the kingdom and whatsoever you bind or forbid declared to be improper or uh -huh. unlawful on the earth. So he's saying, now this revelation has brought you into a place of dominion. This revelation has That's brought right. you into a place of authority. So this true. revelation, because of the, so of the way you responded, you see yes. what I'm saying? It has yes. brought you into, into yes. another place. And so he That's says, so I'm giving you the keys. Mm -hmm. I'm giving you the keys and I'm telling you, beloved, I like this, um, based on our response will determine if we're going to have the keys That's or right. if we're going to have, because it's, the key speaks of access, if we're going to have access into the mysteries and the things of the earth. That's so true. You know? Glory That's to God. Right. I do pray that you're receiving something tonight. We got a long way to go. And so when we talk about the church, uh, Daniel, we're talking yeah. about the the ecclesia of the the called out ones the church right. of course we know that the church is not the building, building. Mm. Yes. but we are the church yeah. we are the church many people are waiting to go to the brick and mortar many people are waiting to go to the building but mm -hmm. i want you to understand that you have more power than the building that's so true you possess more power you possess more dominion and authority than the building and, and the, the pews and the equipment and, and you possess more power than all of that you see what and, I'm saying? And the reality of it is that right now God is interested in building us as the church. That, and He is building us. He is building us. That is His interest. It's not about the physical things, but He's working on us. He's constructing, reconstructing stuff, yes. redefining things in us uh, to prepare us for what is ahead. Uh, that is His interest. That is His focus right now. Exactly. If if you know that God is building you, I want you to, to I want you to declare God is building me. We, you are you are under construction and right now yeah. i want you to i want you to write that i want you to say i'm on the construction you see the thing about it apostle is that when we enter into salvation when we when we accepted salvation through grace um we became new in christ yes but our progress is continual our progress is continual that's why we're continually being built built by god and, it, and you know, I want to tell you guys tonight that being built by God is not something that it's physical, that we experience, or mm -hmm. I can feel the building blocks and these kind of stuff. Sometimes it's in those quiet moments where God yeah. is just rearranging and aligning things that is part of the building process. Yeah. So sometimes we underestimate God building us. Uh, we by underestimate something. the silence. Yeah, we underestimate the silence. <laughs> God is just structured, where Come God is now. just redefined, yes. where God is just yes. refocusing certain things. Uh, yes. Because for some of us, uh, um, the building that is occurring in our life right now is probably in our mindset. Uh, yeah. That's a major aspect. It's probably in our heart. It's probably in our spirit. We do not know. And that's why we cannot underestimate. Neither can we compare it to what our neighbor is experiencing in terms of being built. Right you know, now. Um, Pastor Keza sent, sent, sent something in the group. Oh, my. I, I love have to that. respond I to it. I love it. I um, love I think that it so had much. something to do with, with um, not focusing on the, the exterior, more mm -hmm. or less, on, on the clothes mm -hmm. and, the, and all these, but, but really 
focusing on on the, the, the construction that's process and that's I'm, right. I'm just you know that's right. the construction process that is taking that's place right. on the inside and I read it because from time to time I would you know read and I was like yes yes Yes, and I thank God for people that, that God is speaking to many That's of us. So true. You know, and many of you God is speaking That's to you. So and I true. want to encourage you to keep, you know, keep going after God like you've right. never done before. That's you know, right. and God is gonna reveal. Don't just sit back and just 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 you know live anyhow, but go after God. Take that time and ask the Holy Spirit to speak. And sometimes he, he might not hear nothing, but he might cause you to watch something and then you you know he's speaking through that or whatever the case or read something or whatever but i'm telling you this these are the days where the where god will speak to you god will speak to you and you know apostle it's i, I you know just a few moments ago i was seeing i was i was praying and i was saying to god you know sometimes we are in a place where yeah. we don't feel like what god is saying is accurate <laughs> oh my god. We, feel, oh my we gosh. don't feel as if what God is saying is accurate, or sometimes we question that it's actually God who's giving us instruction in this time. And too many times, you know, I would read something, I would be studying the word mm. and so forth, it would be resting in my spirit, and so I'm meditating on it. Right. And right. I would have a conversation with you, Apostle, or Prophet as Michelle, or with a friend. By the way, all this Apostle stuff that she's saying is her mom and her dad. <laughs> Right? Let me just break it down for you, all right? Yeah. <laughs> but I would have a conversation <laughs> with someone or I would read something online and I, and I would be like, yes, this is exactly what God is saying. I don't need anything else, but I know for sure. And that's something that you're seeing up um, Pastor right now. God is definitely speaking and once he speaks, he, con he confirms his word. That's it. He confirms in so his many word. ways. He so confirms many ways. his word. We don't have to be looking for a, a prophet or a, 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 another man of God to confirm the word or whatever. What God is saying to you, once you know and once you are in tune with the frequency of God's voice, just run with it. And you know, you were saying something. Um, we were discussing something. Yeah. And we were talking about how God is not just speaking at thus says the Lord. To an individual, That's but he's right. speaking on it's a wider, it's a, it's on a wider scope, it's and so you have to tune. You cannot be narrow-minded. You right. have to be open-minded, you know, right. because he's speaking through so many different, different, different. Uh, so many different uh, ways. You know, so, so many you have ways. to be open. You and have we to talked about that, yeah. Apostle, when we were here last week. That yeah. we have to break out of that box. Sometimes, too many yeah. times we keep God in a box, yes. and that hinders or that stifles the construction that is going on in our yes. lives. But because yes. we keep it in the box, we expect God to speak in this way, to move in this way. Mm -hmm. But God has so many ways. He his, He says in His Word that His ways are higher than our ways. Right. Right. So his even before we're thinking, yes. even before even greater than what we are imagining, God is going to do something that is greater than that. Yes. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. Awesome, 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 <laughs> awesome. Um, go with us in, uh, to Isaiah, and I see uh, Minister Beverly, she, she, she looked like she's in my notes. I won't get to that scripture in a while. <laughs> um, but uh, Isaiah 51, uh, yeah, verses 1 and 2, it says, Listen to me, you who pursue, righteousness. Amp Come amplified on. now. That's right. Listen to me, you That's who right. pursue righteousness, which yeah. speaks of right standing, standing with God. God. Yeah. Who seek and inquire the Lord. He says, look to the rock from which, from which you, you were caught. caught. Come on. Come and, on. And, and, and to the ex ex excavation of the, of quarry, the quarry from which you from were, which you were oh dug. Oh my gosh. Wow. You see where you got to... Because, yes. oh my God, the, the scripture talks about where, and I'm going to get to that scripture, where God has brought us out to yes. take us in. in. Yes. All right, That's stay with right. me now. That's he right. says, look to Abraham your father and to Sarah uh, who gave birth to in, you in, in pain, pain. Yes. for I called him when, when he, he was, was but one <laughs> then I blessed him and made him many wow so many things are coming out here <laughs> in that scripture but go back go back go back to let's, the top let's go back to the he top he says listen to me one to two. Yeah. listen to me those of you that are pursuing righteousness the right standing with God Yes. He says, "You are the ones that are the ones that seek and inquire of the Lord. Lord. Yeah. Look to the rock from which you, from where you were caught. Mm. Now get an un, get a revelation and an understanding. This in itself should make you a better person. This in itself should should cause your mindset to be shifted. Should yeah. cause you to be uh, running at a faster pace. Yes. Are you hearing me? This in itself should get you excited." 
This in itself should make you the, the, the man and the woman God called you to be. That's he right. said, look, look from the rock in which you were cut. Are you with me tonight? Yeah. The ones that are going after God. This, the, 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 this thing is not for people that, that are relaxing. No. But this is for people that are running and running with That's everything right. that they have on That's the right. inside. Are you with me That's tonight? Right. Amen? That's right. I love the words that um, that are being used in the scripture here, Apostle. Like the, the words that are standing out to me are listen, listen, listen. That, that, that's a place of obedience. That's a place of waiting. That's a place of resting in God. Even and that's word, a place where he consistently, he, uh, you know, where he's constantly speaking. That's right. You know, it's not a one time. Right. He says, listen, yeah. listen, go ahead. Go and ahead. also, I love that he says, those who seek and inquire of the Lord. So yes. that right there, it speaks about a level of expectancy. Yes. It speaks about an, a, 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 a seeking. It, it, that's an action word. That's going after God with everything. That, 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 that's longing for something mm -hmm. that you mm -hmm. do not have, mm -hmm. but, you, but, but that you're thirsty, that you're hungry for, that you need to have in your life. Right, and, right. And then it mm. says, then look to the rock. Every time I see the word look in the scripture. And Jesus is the rock. Yeah, Jesus that's right. is the rock. Every time I see the mm -hmm. word "look" in the scripture, it always it it always makes me be, uh, uh, come to a place of it's not at eye level, but it's higher. It's not at eye level; it's higher. Yes. I just I, I just go love into that. the rock of my <laughs> salvation. I go into the rock. Y'all remember those songs, right? <laughs> I just thought look about to it. the rock. Yes. Look to the rock. Um, I want to tell you guys tonight that if you feel that you're on the construction. The place that you need to be is in the presence of God. Yes. The place that you need to be is in the presence of God. Even more so, you have to be in relationship. You have to be in an intimate place with God for this construction to occur. This cannot happen outside of God and neither can anything else um, mm -hmm. help or assist this construction that God is doing in your life. Yeah. You have to be planted. You have to be in the presence of God. You have to be obedient. You have to be waiting. And you have to lift your eyes to the one who created you. And you also have to be willing. That's right. The Bible says, the That's scripture right. says, if That's you right. are willing yes. and obedient. That's right. That's you right. will eat That's the right. blood of the Lamb. That's right. If you are willing and yeah. obedient. Yeah. So you have to be willing. That's right. You know, um, for that construction process to take place, you have to be willing. You gotta yeah. open, you gotta relax yourself in the presence of God. Yeah. And you have to trust him. I think I believe here when you read this scripture, one of the things that are, that are that kind of like pulling out from uh from, from this particular yeah. scripture is the fact that that God is 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 giving us prophetic examples. Yes. So we can understand here how to trust him. Yeah. He's given us prophetic examples. I mean, read the scripture, the story with, with yeah. Abraham and, right. and how God called him out, you know, and, and, and told him, you know, I'm going to send you to, a, to a, a different place, a different land, and how he had to trust. He had to literally trust God. And these are the, 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 the scriptures that we, we need to embrace because this is what God is doing. Now, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to have some more scriptures that I really, really want to get to you tonight um, <clears throat> because the time is running, but we still want to make sure that we minister directly to your spirit. In First Peter chapter, and, and, and Minister Beverly actually, I think she's in my nose because she put the scripture up just now. It <laughs> says, but you are a chosen, a, a chosen, but you are a chosen a race, a royal, royal priesthood, yes. a consecrated nation, a special people, God's own possession. You know, some translation says set apart. Ah, yeah. That's what it talks about. Um, God's own, own possession so that you may proclaim the excellencies, the wonderful deeds and virtues and perfections of him who calls you out. Who yes. called you out? Into who called you life. out? I want you to write here tonight. I want you to say, I've been called out. I've been, I've been called, called out. out. I want you to write that here. Who called you out of darkness? Of darkness. Who Into. called you out of darkness? Who called you out of whatever mess, whatever trouble? And I'm telling you, this is a time to, for you to, to see you and I to sit back and, and, and reflect on the fact of how far God has brought you from, out. Yeah. I'm telling you That's how right. far That's God right. has brought you out. I'm talking to somebody here tonight. That's right. When, when you, I mean, you, you, you probably, because you were so That's busy so with all the different things That's in life, so true. you so could true. not see how far God has brought you out. And tonight, I want you to see how far God has brought you out. And I want you to thank God for bringing you out. You may not have everything that you want right now, but God has brought you out, beloved. God has brought you out. Yeah, he you says, know, when we're looking at, at, at construction and yes. transformation in this time, we need to stop dwelling on what is the past. 
and what was. And yes. we need to start focusing on who is it that we're becoming. That is yes. so important. And that's that, an amazing thing. Yeah, and, and that's and that and that comes back to why we need to keep our focus on the one who's actually yes. doing the construction. Yes. Because if we set our eyes on him, then mm -hmm. there's no reason for us to turn back. Right. There's no right. reason for us to look back. There's no reason for us to desire anything that is behind us. If we're setting our eyes upon him and if we see the vision of who we're becoming in Christ. So you'll become comfortable to the fact that you know, uh, I am not all of that. I'm not. He's not finished with me. He's still working on me. I, so I don't that like means... the word of apostle comfortable. <laughs> I like to use the word contented because all right. being contented means that you understand the season that you're in, but it, it means that you're still hungry for what is ahead. Awesome, right. awesome, mm -hmm. awesome, awesome. So he says, um, he has who has who has called you. Who has called you? Who has yes, called has you? Called put your name God in there, Sean. Who has so. called Sean out of yes. darkness yes. into His marvelous, marvelous light? Yes. Once yes. you were not, not a people, people at all, yes. but now, somebody say now, now. you yeah, are God's, God's people. people. Yes. You are God's people. That's I am. Right. I am. I'm a son of God. Amen. That's right. Once you had not received mercy, you did not have mercy. Yes. But now you it's have available. received mercy. That's right. So if you have received mercy, you need to walk in the mercy that you've been, uh, that, that been given to you. That's right. Amen. That's right. Walk in the mercy. Amen. So you have been called. You and I have been called. And I want you to put your name in there. I want you to say, Sean have been called. Sharon, you have been called. Noel, you have been called. Yes, Teresa, yes. you have been called. Charmin, yes. you have been called. Nika, you have yes, been called. You know, called Deborah yes. or Deborah, you have been called. Sherry, yes. you have been called. Beverly, Travis, you know, you you have been called out. You have been called. And, and you know what? Like we just said, mm -hmm. take a moment. Yeah. Take a moment to look at how far the Lord has brought you. Yeah. How far he has brought you. And, and the, the good thing that I like about this is that when you see how far he has brought you, you never know. You might be this close to entering into the next level. Come on. That's right. That's <laughs> you right. know, so you, you, you right. in other words, you, you can't quit right now, man. You, yeah. can't, you can't give up right now. So That's he has right. brought us out yeah. to take us in. Amen. In the book of Acts chapter, and I, I'm, I'm trying so to run this chapter. You want to read that? Yes, this Moses, whom they rejected, saying, Who made you a ruler and a judge? Mm. Is the very one whom God sent to be both a ruler and a deliverer, mm. with the protecting and helping hand of the angel who appeared to him in the thorn bush. This man led him. But hold on, stop. Mm -hmm. I want you to see, I want, and I'm reading the scriptures tonight so that you can see yourself in here. Let me just say the scripture Amen. again. It's Acts 7, verse 35 to 38. To 38. Yeah. Amen. And so, if you were nothing before. Yeah. If you were nothing before, mm -hmm. God brought you out of nothing to bring life. you into something. That's right. If you didn't have before, yes. God brought you from that place, that broke place, yes. to a wealthy place. Yes. Stay with me tonight. If you were in a place of brokenness, exactly. because he had brought you out of darkness and into light, now you can enter into a place of being complete, of being whole, exactly. of, be, of being everything that God has has this time for you to be and that's what we want you guys to understand tonight so type in the comments below and say that god has brought me out into his marvelous life and he has delivered you from 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 bondage yes. he has delivered you from the chains and from yes. the, the, the the captivity of the enemy and he's brought you into a place of divine freedom he That's brought right. you into a place of of glorious thinking yes. a, a place of of great information a place of of of, of soaring yes. are you hearing me he's brought you into a high dimension he's brought you into a wealthy place yes. he's brought you into an expanded place That's amen right. he's brought you into a better place he's brought you to a place where where you are loved are you hearing me tonight that's, so that's what he has done and this is what we when we talk about the building the foundation this is what is happening and yes. I, I want to say to you tonight at least i've got to say this yes. to them it is not over yes. it is not over he's not true with you yes. maybe you're feeling the pain or whatever you're feeling yes. and i want you to understand that he is not he's not over with you glory to god he's not over he is not over he's not true with you Glory yes. to God, he is not true with you. I, you I want know, you to you know, know that. You know that scripture, it says that he who began a work in you, he is faithful to complete it. Yes. He is faithful to complete it. The Bible says that God is faithful to complete 
that works if you feel right now that you're on the construction that god is building you that god is taking things out of you that god is redefining you right now he is not done it doesn't matter how you feel it doesn't matter uh, it doesn't matter what you see around because i feel so many times mm. that what we see around us the environment what we see around that that affects our ability oh, come on to now come on now brother come on time. and right now we need to take our eyes off of what is happening around us we put too much focus there when yes. all all god God wants us to focus on is what's happening in here because as he works within us apostle there's a power that he is giving to us yes there is grace that God is giving to us there's strength that God is giving to us in this time so we need to stop looking at what's happening around us we need to stop allowing mm. what is occurring yes. around us to have an impact on whether or not we're gonna get through this process mm. right so I want to encourage you you're gonna get through it that God is faithful to complete that way I like that God says that he's not gonna complete it but he's faithful to bring it to the desired end he's yes. faithful to bring it bring it to a good future mm. he's faithful to establish you the way that he desires awesome. he's awesome. faithful to do all that he has promised you those 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 prophetic words that he has released over your life so many years ago don't worry god is faithful to bring them into yes. fulfillment do not be shifted do not be moved be steadfast in this in this time people of god because god is faithful to complete that work which he has established and which he has begun in you. My gosh, you know, this story here with Moses, Moses went through a whole lot. Y'all know the yeah. story, you know, he was in the basket and they had to yes. find him and all. And, 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 and by the scripture says that he was rejected. But the same Moses that was rejected, yeah. that went into a family that was not even his own, he was not, the same Moses, mm -hmm. the Bible says, that from rejection he became a ruler that's right are you with me tonight from a place of being rejected mm -hmm. he became and ask joseph he'll tell you the same thing from a place of being rejected he became a ruler that's right and he became a judge that's right amen and 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 he became the deliver deliverer god was able to use him in a mighty way now if you are coming from a place where there has been nothing and there have been all kinds, all sorts of things happening, I am saying to you and I'm speaking That's into right. your life, over your life, over your household, over yes. your family. God can move you into a place of rulership. That's God right. can move you into a place of, of true deliverance. Are you yes. hearing me? God That's can right. move you into a place of true freedom, total That's freedom. Right. Are right. you hearing me? Maybe there are stuff that was holding on to you and you allow because you know what? Sometimes because of all the past pain and hurts and all that, sometimes we allow things to just, you know. Yeah. But tonight I want you yeah. to let it go. I want you to release that thing. Yes. I want you to release that hurt, release that pain, That's release right. that 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 That's that right. um, okay. agony, whatever it is that okay. is holding okay. you okay. and holding you hostage. I want yes. you to say tonight I am I am getting my freedom. Tonight yes. I'm getting my breakthrough. Tonight I'm tonight I'm going to the place that God wants me. Tonight I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna experience this wealthy place. Tonight yes. I'm gonna experience this place of freedom. That's tonight right. I'm gonna ex I'm gonna have a peaceful night. Glory That's to right. God. I'm speaking to somebody tonight. I'm yes. gonna have a, a, a a peaceful rest glory to god is going to be peace in the home are you yes. with me tonight i'm going to experience god's goodness because of what the word of god says I'm, I'm choosing to embrace the word of god and experience total freedom once and for all are you with me tonight you know apostle and that's where we began this broadcast tonight and i was speaking about i speak about declaring the word of god over your life you yes. know, tonight we're speaking to those who have felt cast away if you have felt tonight that 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 no one is on your side or if persons have disqualified you i want you to know tonight oh, come that on god now. is the one who has called you he has the one who has placed this purpose this destiny in you it doesn't matter what you have been through what the experiences the experiences that that you that that you have encountered they are shaping you and preparing you for what god is doing in your life right now so i want to encourage you tonight uh, do not allow yourself to be in a place of rejection because God has chosen you, God has called you, God has positioned you, and He will and He has qualified you for yes. the purpose that He has placed with you. Yes. So be yes. encouraged tonight, people of God. I want to continue reading this scripture. Yeah, I, I, for so some reason, I'm, I'm 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 enjoying it. It's it so says, um, "Is the the very one whom God sent to be ruler and deliverer." That's right. This is Acts chapter 7, verse 35. That's right. Right through 38. The, our ruler and deliverer. That's right. And the protecting and helping hand. Uh, hand of, of, of the angel who appeared to him mm -hmm. 
in the thorn in the thorn bush. This man Moses mm -hmm. led them out. This was the same rejected one, the same rejected one. The Bible says he led them out mm -hmm. of Egypt after performing wonders and signs in the That's land right. of Egypt. That's right. And at the Red Sea and in the wilderness for forty years. That's right. This is the Moses who led the children of Israel. Are you telling me God can use you? You're telling me, you want to tell me God can't turn your life around? Come. You're telling me that God can't turn your marriage around? Come You're on. telling me that God can't turn your, your business and your family around? Let me tell you something. God can take nothing if you allow him and he can raise you up and make you into the man or woman that he wants you to be. That's but you right. got to trust him. You got to throw off the weight. You got to right. let the weight go. You got to let the Amen. pain and you Come got to on. let what Come has on. been Come said. On. You got to let all these things go. Release and you have, you have to trust body. God to yeah. do it. You have to, I love what, what Kezia put up there today. Yeah. You got to trust God. Are you with yeah. me? This yeah. is the same Moses yeah. who said to the children of Israel, God will raise raise up for you a prophet he became god's mouthpiece you yes. can become god's mouthpiece are that's you with right. me tonight right. you that's can right. become one that god will use in this in this end times Hallelujah. you can become one that 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 will carry the top the torch are you with me tonight you can become somebody they may have shut you out they may have locked you out they may have been talking all sort of stuff about you yeah. but you can make a difference in this earth realm and i'm that's saying right. to you tonight right. those of you that are on this life Amen. right Rise up in this Amen. moment. Amen. Glory to God. Let me continue reading this. This is the Moses who said to the children of Israel, God will raise you, raise up for you a prophet like me from your, from your countrymen. So right among my yeah. right from within you, right from among your circles, maybe yes. they're looking at you and they're saying, look at her, she's, she's been going through this, she changed this husband, that husband, she, on, she's on the pressure, no money, this... But let me tell you, God can raise you right in the midst of them. That's God right. can raise you up and That's God can right. put his signet That's upon right. you. Right. This is the one who, who was in the congregation in the wilderness yes. together with, with the angel who spoke to him on Mount Sinai mm -hmm. and who was with our fathers and he received living oracles, divine words that, that still live. live man, you're young. telling me God can't take you from nothing and bring you to something come on yeah. man i'm a living testimony of that are that's you with true. me i've been come through on. all sorts of stuff in my life and if yes, god can take yes, me yes, out yes, and bring yes, me yes. to a place if god can can give me a family if god can bless me god can bless you too are that's you hearing right. me that's and right. in this quarantine god yeah. wants to bless you are you with me tonight i was not supposed to get so fired up right <laughs> god wants to bless you God wants to bring you out and the blessing might, let me tell you, the blessing is never in that place. The blessing is when you allow him to bring you out. When you yes. bring up, then you begin to see your work. You begin yes. to see all that. that I'm telling you, man. I'm That's telling so you. Glory That's to so God. That's so That's so true. True. That's so true. Glory, glory. And so we have to put complete trust in him. That's it. We have to. What, 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 is, what is a relationship if there is no trust? Hmm. Mm. What, is, what, what is a relationship if there's no trust? And we, the reason that we have to put our trust in him is because he is the one who has the blueprint for our lives. Mm -hmm. He is the one who has called us out. He is the one that has the direction. He is the one that knows what's the next season, what's the next dimension of our life. He's the one that will be able to navigate us through That's the right. storms of life. We have to trust him. Him. This, this that is occurring right now, this construction, this building, it cannot be done by ourselves. I will continue to repeat that. It cannot be done outside of Him, but it can only occur my in God, Him. My God. In Him. In Him. In Him. Even the people that are not quote unquote believers are embracing these things. I was talking to someone today, mm -hmm. someone very powerful, and the person was saying to me, mm -hmm. and they brought the scripture up, and I was like, I started smiling. <laughs> he said, uh, the scripture says trust and we were talking about all this COVID-19 stuff and all these things are happening yeah. and she says people just need to trust God That's right. the scripture says trust in the Lord mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's true. with all your heart That's so true. and lean not, not lean to your lean own not. understanding but in all your ways acknowledge, acknowledge him. him this is someone who you know we might say don't go to church like regular and all of that mm -hmm. And so people are beginning to understand and beginning to embrace this thing. Yeah. We as believers, we have got to do that. That's what we have to do. Yeah. We have got to do that. The scripture that we're looking for is Deuteronomy chapter 6 and 33. 23. 23 rather. 6 yes. and 23. Don't forget the scripture. Yeah. It says, 
He brought, brought us out. Us out. out. Yes. Put your name in there. He, he brought, brought me Lisa out. We used to sing a song yes. uh, back in the day. He brought us out. <laughs> he brought us out. What's the other part? Glory. Hallelujah. The Lord God brought us out. Da -da -da -da. He brought us out. Da -da -da. You know, we used to sing that song. We used to sing. We need to, we need to sing some more of these songs, you know? Mm -hmm. But the scripture says that he brought us out from there mm -hmm. in order to bring, us, to bring in. us in. So he has a plan. plan that's right. Not yeah. had. He has, he has a plan. A plan. Yeah. He brought us out to bring us in. Watch that's this. Right. That's to right. give us. To give us. That's because right. where we were, <laughs> he could not give us. We, we, he could not give not us what he that. wanted to give we us. We probably couldn't even utilize it. Because so we, could, we would not have understood the value of it. it. That's right. You see that's what I'm right. saying? That's right. Mm. That's right. See, he, he, there, he brought us all from there in order to bring us in, to give us Write the it land, Deuteronomy six and which he had sworn to give our fathers. And the scripture talks about God being our greatest reward. God ah, being yes, our inheritance, yes, God being yes, our portion, yes, God yes. being the stronghold of our lives. Yes. And I, and I feel that right there, that's what God is talking about. Yes. He brought you yeah. out. Yeah. He brought you out. He brought you out. Yeah. And if he has brought you out, trust him. Don't turn back. Don't do like don't do like Lot's wife. Mm. Don't you turn mm -hmm. back. Mm -hmm. Are you with me? If you're gonna see, let me tell you something. If you're gonna see the fullness of what he has for you, mm -hmm. you have to keep moving in the direction that he's taking yeah. you. You cannot stop. Don't you stop. You cannot Amen? stop. Amen. He brought you out to, to bring you in. in. Amen. In. And the inn is a wealthy place. That is a wealthy oh, place. Gosh. It's a place of abundance. Oh, yes. It's a place of flourishing. It's a yes. place of where the blessings of God is flowing all the time, all the time, all the Great time. provision. Great provision. Revelation. That's right. That's right. Ideas. That's right. Are you with That's me? That's right. But we will never experience it if we don't go willingly, as you said. Mm. Yes. If we don't go with a willing heart. Oh my gosh. Mm. I pray that. Listen, we're not done. I do pray that you're enjoying this word tonight. It is Bible study. It is Wednesday night. It is Bible study. That's we're right. talking about That's being right. under construction. Yes. And I, I want you to believe this with all your heart. All of us, we are under construction. Yes. And, and, and you know what? Let him pour into you. When you're under construction and he's building the, what do you call it, the columns and whatever, they put the stuff around, then you have to pour the martyr in. Let yes. him pour into yes. you. Yes. Let him pour. And when he yes. pours into you, it takes some time before it, it, it is dry and all yes. of that. Let him pour into Let you. People may pass resonate. and see your building That's under right. construction, right. but you That's don't right. see the beauty of the building when it's under construction. Nope. You see the beauty of it when it's finished. The Are Bible you hearing talks me? about us moving from glory to yes. glory. And there's a greater glory that we're encountering. Yes. In we are about there's to come into a greater glory. glory. But we cannot experience it if we don't stay through the process. Mm. We have to stay through this process of construction. We have to stay through this process of building. Too many of us, we, 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 feel, we, see, we feel so great that we've come to this specific point, but God is not done with us. And we prematurely step out. Yes. We prematurely reveal the same revelation and all that God is revealing to us that we just have to stay and rest in Him until the appointed time of revelation we, we're going to continue but i just want to just drop this plug here go right ahead please don't hesitate to sow and to give that's let me right. tell you something that's right there is a blessing when you sow when you give so take a yes. moment go ahead you can use the mmg you can yeah. use the uh the republic bank you know information. um information the information is that's right there right. please right. do not hesitate that's to right. sow that's amen right. let's right. continue I, because i believe that this is a season in your life and I know it might be rough. I know it is rough. Mm -hmm. But I want, to, I want you to understand that, that it's going to end well. That's it. This processing might be tough for you. Jalan, this processing might be tough. But you're going to end well. Mm -hmm. I decree and declare over your lives tonight that yeah. you will end well. well. Your ladder hmm, will be greater. But, but, you know, it's not even uh, to prophesy over apostle. But what does the scripture say in Jeremiah 29, 11? For I know the plans I have yes. for you. Yes, yes, yes. And that's a direct prophecy right yeah. there. For I know the plans I have for you. 
And that's why we have to trust and believe him in this time. That's why we have to get into the word. Because when we get into the word, we come to a place of understanding of it. What exactly we're going through. What exactly God is doing. In the word right there, God begins to speak to us. There's a sense of encouragement. There's edification. There's so much that happens yes. when we read yes. that word. And that's why we need to know that word. We need to apply that word. We need to declare that word in this time. When you feel that you're losing faith. When you feel this courage. When you feel that it's becoming so uncertain certain it's becoming so confused confusing and chaotic go to the word and let god speak to you in that word let that word be pronounced over your life yes. in this time do not forget that word people of hear god. what the word of god says uh, man this is my scripture this is my scripture. psalm 66 <laughs> and 12 and i know you can pull it up in another this another translation my, this is my scripture apostle this is my you want to read it listen god. i love this scripture i love this <laughs> so part of the scripture so much right so go badly. ahead and read it Psalm 66, Psalm 66 and 12. 12. You it need says, to have this written you all over your men, home. Charities ride over our heads in defeat. We went through fire and through mm. water. Yet you brought, brought us, us out, out into, into a, a broad, broad place. place of abundance to be refreshed. The other translation said you brought us out okay. into a wealthy place. We have gone through men of have walk upon us they talk up they did all they could have so done so much so much but so we much. went through we the feel fire like if we're drowning in this time we feel like if we have mm. no energy left we feel like this <laughs> is the end that what good could come out of this place what good could come out of this mm. season now? what everything, good could come out of this life this life so looked like it's over yeah everything <laughs> seems so bleak everything oh my gosh is, you know but the important thing is that though we may go through fire, though we may go through water, mm. though we may experience sufferings and tribulations and testings, whatever is the case, mm. God is prophesying over us. God is reminding us tonight yes. that he is bringing us into a place of abundance. Mm, mm, mm. He's bringing us into a place My of God. flourishing. He's bringing us into a place of wealthiness. He's bringing us into a place of prosperity. So do not be alarmed of what you see before you. Do not be alarmed of what is happening around you don't do not be alarmed by what people are saying wow. just stay true to the promise that god is bringing us into a wealthy place and stay true to it come stay on i want you to place. type that tonight stay god true. is bringing me into god a flourishing place into god is bringing me into place. a wealthy place God is bringing place. me into a high place. Yeah, oh and my and, God. And even <laughs> as you type it in the comments, I don't just want you to type it because sometimes we type so many things in the comments of Pastor, we don't even believe it, but we're just hyped up. Mm. But I want you to say that. Love that. Say Love that. that. Say that Love out. That. Say that out in the atmosphere, wherever yes. you are. Where, Throw what, your hands up at this, this point situation, and say, just yes. say, God is bringing me out uh, into a wealthy place, into a flourishing place. Uh, whatever is the mm. situation that you're Powerful. encountering with your family, in your marriage, in mm. your relationship with your children, on the job, uh, whatever is the situation right now, I want you to prophesy and declare that mm. God is bringing me out yes. uh, into yes. a wealthy place. God is bringing me out into an abundant place. God is bringing me out into a flourishing place. Uh, it doesn't matter what I'm encountering. It may be fire hell it may be brimstone whatever it is i'm encountering encountering oh god, god is uh. bringing me out yes that is where my faith is that is what i'm believing that is what i I'm am standing seeing. On. that is what i'm standing yes. on tonight Apostle. that's the foundation that god i'm standing is bringing on me out mm. money may have dried up business may have slowed up but god is bringing oh come me on now family come members on. may mm. be sick but god is bringing me out god yeah. is bringing me out so many Mandi. things what have, have happened in the past three months mm. i i feel like if i'm losing my mind oh. i feel like if i i don't know oh, but god is tonight. bringing mm. me out god is bringing me out god is bringing me out the deliverer is bringing me out yes and i believe it yes. i see it i stand yes. on it mm. and that is the word of this season Amen. yes yes wow wow i feel I, listen listen i felt the glory just now Hallelujah. i just felt something broke Hallelujah. i just that felt something broke that is right it. there and my this, god and this is why we have to speak the mm. word because the word is so powerful mm. the word is so potent potent i i i know Shukana that as even as you begin to declare that god is bringing me up that things are breaking things are shifting now, things are coming now, into alignment in with 
you prophesy that whatever it has been with you, whatever is your concerns, if you have been in an anxious place, if you have been in a depressed place, God is bringing you bringing out tonight. You out. Oh, daughter, oh, son, God is bringing you mm. out. It doesn't yes. matter what you face. It doesn't matter what you encounter in this time. It doesn't matter what mm. people are saying my about God, your situation. God, God, it doesn't God. matter what the enemy is whispering in your ears. God is bringing you mm. out, people of God. Come on, I want you to God take a moment you out. and declare God that. God is bringing you out tonight. I'm coming out. I'm coming out. I'm coming out. It's a wealthy I'm place. I'm coming out. I'm coming out. It's a oh, flourishing place. Amandi. It's a prosperous place that God has destined us for. Yes. But you see, the enemy does not want us. Mm. He does want us to have this vision. Mm. He does not want us to come into this place mm. of believing that this is the outcome of it all. Mm. And that's why he's keeping us in this depressed place. That's mm. why he's keeping us in this place of bondage. That's why mm. he's keeping us in a place where we see that if we cannot reach her, that we oh. will not be able to come out of this. But I'm telling you tonight, according mm. to the word that is being my spoken God, here my in God, Psalm my 66, God. verse 12, that God is bringing us out. Yes. Into yes. a flourishing yes. place. Yes. I want you to take a moment and send, Father, drop a line glory. to somebody, some some family Father, member, some some friend. You the can watch them. Go ahead higher. and send them. God is bringing the you up. Send that higher. to them. Say the God is bringing you up. Prophesy to somebody. The Come on, go ahead. The place is higher. The place is higher. The place is higher. God will not allow you to go through this for nothing. Mm. The Bible says that He is our greatest reward. Yes. He is our greatest yes. reward. Yes. He is our greatest reward. I want you to believe tonight uh, yes. that it doesn't matter. I don't know what is the situation, mm. but I see. So, uh, but what God has shown me tonight, mm. so many hearts have been broken. Come on now. So many today. hearts Go have ahead. been broken. So many Le people Katarama are in a depressed place. So many people are suffering mentally. So many, pe so many people are encountering physical sickness. So many people are in a place of despair mm. and doubt and fear and anxiety. But I'm speaking, you speaking to you tonight and I'm telling you that God is bringing you out. That yes. is a certain word. And you will see it and you will eat the fruits of that which you speak in this time. Yes. So that's why I'm telling you, speak yes. over your situation. Yes. Speak over your yes. marriage. Speak over your Le children. Speak over your business. Speak over your job. Whatever is the situation mm. tonight. Many of you have been believing mm. God for miracles, signs, and wonders. And as, as the scripture said just now, mm. Apostle, that we Le have been seeking sata. God. We have been inquiring mm. God. We're inquiring from God. And I'm telling you tonight that God is doing a miraculous wonder. The outcome of this is going to blow God. people's oh, minds. The outcome you, of this is bigger. You, it's greater than what we can imagine. It is even thank greater you, than what we are Bora praying chata, right mama, now. Mama, that mama, is what mama. God is bringing us into because it's an abundant mm. place. You know, I just... Hallelujah. I, we're going to continue in a minute, but I just sense that Hallelujah. the Lord wants you to, 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 to speak and to prophesy Hallelujah. and pray over. I want you to gather yourselves together. Father, There's, something happening. You There's something happening here tonight on this life. Uh, and you know why I'm saying this? I, I, I'm going I'm 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 to make this confession. I didn't feel like coming on here tonight. <laughs> I'm telling you. I told my daughter. I'm being honest. And the Lord started speaking to me while I was just lying on the bed. The Lord started speaking to me. Hallelujah. And that's why I know that God has a word for you tonight. This word is for many of you here. Tonight. Jesus, we give you so praise. So I want you to gather your friends, gather your family, even if you're by yourself. Turn it up and walk around your room. Walk around your house. Because we are about to speak into your life. I'm going to have Prophetess Nisa because the glory is upon her right now. To speak into your life and to speak into your spirit. Hallelujah. There is a quickening that is taking place. There is an awakening that is taking place inside of you tonight. That's right. That's right. That's the right. the shells, the skins yes. are falling off, and, and the, the shackles, real you, the, the shackles, all, and yes, the real you is coming forth tonight in the name of Jesus. Libra, the things that affected you, they're, yes, they're, they're leaving. No, they're leaving. They, they, they no longer will hey, hurt in the you. Are you with me tonight? Raka tobo shata ramande. The tears that you will shed from tonight will be tears of joy. Right. And not tears of sadness. That's not right. tears That's of regret. Right. Right. But you're going right. to shed That's tears right. of joy. Tears of joy. Jesus, I declare that Jesus. to you tonight. In the name of Jesus. So I want you to raise your hands. Open up your mouth if you are filled with the Holy Ghost right now. Because I'm going to have prophetess to speak 
into your life. And while you are, while we are doing this, I'm, I want to ask the intercessors that are on here to begin to pray for us. Are you with me? Because this dimension that the Holy Spirit is allowing us to step into, it is not normal. It is not normal. Are you with me tonight? There is glory flowing here tonight. The power of God is here. The anointing is here to break shackles, to break, to remove depression, to cause uh, oppression to go, to cause sickness and disease to go. Are you with me tonight? So I want you to open up yourself, open up your mouth, open up your mind tonight and let the Spirit of the Lord do what He has to do. Go ahead. You know, there are many of us who are true and what the Spirit of God has been showing me is that the enemy has been trying to stop us. The enemy has been trying to hinder us. Jesus. Even as God has begun to reveal things and you're in a place right now where God is revealing so much to you. There's so much that God is showing you not only in the scripture but about your life. But, yes. but the enemy has been trying to stop you. Mm. He has been sending attacks to your mind. He has been attacking you in your mm. health. And my he has been God, attacking you in your relationship mm. where, where there's a sense of, of confusion and chaos mm. that is happening even in your family environment. Uh, some Jesus. of you have even gone to work uh, and there are so many things that are in uproar. But mm. I'm telling you tonight uh, that, that you are unstoppable. Come on now. You are Come unstoppable. On there is nothing that the enemy can do. There is nothing that he can mm. say. There is no onslaught from the, the, the kingdom of mm. darkness that can stop Jesus. you in this hour because Jesus. God has rained down power. He has put power Jesus. in you. He has given you grace in this time. Jesus. I'm prophesying to you tonight and Jesus. I'm telling you that this is your greatest season of deliverance. Many of you have been mm. in, have been wondering why is Jesus. it why is it that, that God has been causing you to go back Jesus. into the past has been has been causing you to release certain ba -ba 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 moments. Shake it's shake because it. of what he's teaching you. It's because Jesus. of what he's taking out of you. It's because of what he's restoring in you. It's because of what he's putting Jesus. in you. And I'm encouraging you tonight. I'm speaking to you tonight that God is in, that now is a time of the greatest deliverance of your life. Some of you have been struggling in your health, in your mind. I see some of you have even been struggling in your stomach, in, in, in your living, your heart. And I'm telling you tonight, I'm speaking mm. to you tonight uh, that your healing has come. Uh, that yes. God is touching you now yes. uh, from the front of your head to mm. the sole of your feet. Uh, many of mm. you, God has been waking you up in the wee hours of the Jesus. night uh, and you're wondering why there, why there has been an uncomfortableness. Mm. Uh, you've been wondering why, 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 there, why, 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 why there has been so many they questions. They uh, be and God is saying to you tonight uh, that he's, uh, he's releasing new things. He's, there's a fresh download mm. that is coming to you. Some of you, God is pouring a new oil. He's bringing fresh oil into you. This is a type of building. Uh, some of you have been feeling uncomfortable because of what God has been doing. But I'm speaking to you tonight. Mm. It is God who is at work. Jesus. He is the one who is pulling things out of you. He has been tugging on your heart. He has been knocking on the door of your heart because of what he wants to do in your life. And I'm prophesying Jesus. to you tonight that God is not done. The work that he has started you, he shall complete it. He is not stopping it. He is not stopping this point, But he wants to bring you into this place of abundance. He wants to bring you into this place of refreshing. Yes, I hear that. Many of you have been asking God to refresh you and to restore you. And God is refreshing. There's a wind of refreshing that is happening. Jesus. Even as you pray, even as you go up into praise and worship, there's a refreshing that is occurring in your life. There's restoration that is happening. I see many relationships are being restored in this time. I see marriages being restored. I see relationships even being restored in this hour and this time. That God is bringing a level of accuracy even into your relationship. God is bringing a level of definition and wisdom into your relationships come right on now. now. Come on Do now. not be afraid. Do not be concerned mm. of the things that I'm revealing Jesus. in this moment since the Spirit oh, the of God. Lord, the Lord but it is, is here I who have been speaking. It is I who have been working. It is I who have been doing it. Uh, and I want you to trust me, says the Spirit Jesus. of God. I want you to trust me. I want you to go out into the deep and, uh, and trust me with all that you have tonight, says oh, the Spirit of God. Hallelujah. Mm. My God. I see God touching some people tonight, mm. even in your heart. Many of us have been carrying a lot of baggage. Mm. Many of us have been carrying a lot of unforgiveness and it's been oh. a greatest hindrance even in this time. God is not, God is not able to move forward because of the baggage. And I'm telling you tonight that God is ready. He's right there in this moment. If you're ready to release, 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 mm. release the pain, release the trauma, come on now. Come on release now. the come heartbreak, on now. Release, all, release all the disappointment, yes, release all that you have been carrying in your heart, release even the spirit of doubt and 
and fear for the spirit of God is moving upon you. There's a refreshing, there's a restoring, Jesus. there's a quickening that's happening. God yes. is beginning to stir the yes. water again. God yes, is beginning daddy. to stir yes, the yes. water again. God is moving many of us from a mm. place of stagnancy and bringing us into a place of where his living water is flowing within us. And then I speak it to you tonight that now is the mm. time, says the spirit of God. Yes. Mm. Oh daughter, oh son, I'm visiting you. Mm. Yes, go ahead. Oh daughter, oh son, I'm visiting you. You've been worrying about the word. You've been worrying about what you have been hearing. You've been mm. questioning it, but it is I, said mm. the Spirit of God. Yes. It is I. I have come to mm. bring bring you into a place of true identity in me. Yes. I have come so that you can be new in me. Yes. I have come so that yes. the work that I have begun in you, even when you were a child, when you were yes. encountered me, can, can continue in yes. this time, says the Spirit of God. Mm. Mm. I am moving. Jesus. I am moving, says the Spirit of God. Hallelujah. Jesus, Jesus we thank you. I believe that Hallelujah. the Holy Spirit is right there. Right there Hallelujah. in your room. Hallelujah. He's touching you right now. He's right there in your living room. He's right there, right there. And he's holding some of you need the Spirit of God to hold you. You need the Lord to hold you at this point because you feel like you're alone. You feel shattered, but God is right here. He's holding you together, oh right now, right now. Oh, daughter of Zion, right he's holding right you together. Now. You feel that you're breaking. You feel you feel that you've lost it all. But God mm. says, "I'm holding you yes. together. I'm holding you together. Yes. That you are not alone in this moment. That mm. I am with you. I'm carrying you." Says the Spirit of God. I also see some of you Rebe in a place like you felt like everything has fallen apart. Oh God! Like it's like everything has fallen apart in the last two and three weeks you oh, felt God. like before like you had it together, together. yeah and all of a sudden it's like everything is falling thank apart. you holy spirit but the lord says to tell you tonight jesus that jesus. even though you feel like it is falling apart and indeed yes. it might be falling apart those things need to go go that's because right. of what it is that he wants to bring really? you into that's right. are you hearing me because you Hallelujah. are holding on to what you had and what you could have done. Oh, your, God. your, your, your strength and, and your, your, your income ability, and your yes. ability and all. And yes. he says, listen, my daughter, let listen, go, my let son. Let go, let go, let go, let go. I am here now to carry you. I am here now to carry you. I am here to take you further. That's right. It's happening in your life tonight. Hallelujah. It is happening in your life tonight. Hallelujah. You were restless for the last three nights. Yeah. You could not sleep. Some of you getting up at two o'clock oh, at this God. time. The Lord says, listen, listen. Jesus, tonight, Jesus. tonight, and I'm telling you, tonight, you're going to have one of the best rests that you've ever had in the last three Thank you, Father. Days. Thank you, Father. I'm telling, I'm telling you tonight. Hallelujah. There are many of us who God has been speaking to us through dreams. Jesus. Well, the Spirit mm. of God is revealing to me that even as He has caused you to dream certain oh. things right now, Jesus. it's directly to relate is directly related to what He is doing, what He's constructing in our life. There are certain things that there are certain things that the enemy has been doing. There's so Jesus. many assignments that the enemy has released concerning oh. our destinies, our purposes, our families mm. that has been kept us in a place where we have been constrained, where we have been restricted. Jesus. And I want to I want to speak to you tonight that if you have been dreaming, if you've been having some strange dreams tonight, mm. commit your life to God. Commit this process to God. Ask God for clarification mm. of what He's saying to into you in this dream. Yes. Do not yes. be afraid of what God is revealing. It's not a place to be frightened, not be a place to be fearful, mm. but it's to go to God and ask Him for revelation of these dreams in this time because they're directly related to the construction and the building of, of your life in this, in this hour. So, so, so connect with God on those matters of your dreams. Many of you have been concerned, you've been worrying, it's mm. been upon your mind concerning what you have been dreaming, concerning mm. what the, even visions I see. God has even mm. been giving us certain visions uh, that we have been even interacting in our families and in our circles and God has been giving us visions in this time. But I'm saying to you, ask God, ask the Holy Spirit in this hour for revelation of what He's saying because He's revealing because of what He is doing in your construction and redefinition in this hour. Hallelujah. And I'll say this to you. Jesus. Most of the times when things are happening, sometimes we tend to believe the devil this and the devil doing mm -hmm. this. And then let me tell you something. This is the Lord's doing. This is all God. 
Father. And it's marvelous. Are you with me tonight? This is the Lord's Father. Glory. Father. I don't want you to think the Father. devil doing this. And let's focus on Christ. Let's focus That's on right. God. That's right. Amen. This this disruption that is taking place in your life is not to take you under, no. but it's to bring you over. over. That's right. It's to give you more clarity. It's to That's give right. you more 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 strength more ideas to build capacity, to build capacity. this is what is to happening us, are you with me us. are you That's hearing right. us tonight hallelujah and i know that the lord is doing something in your life That's right. amen That's for right. some reason i don't feel like we need to continue any longer because i believe that the lord has spoken i believe that the lord has spoken directly to his people he That's did right. exactly what he That's wanted right. to do tonight That's right. we had what we, we planned because I, while i was on the bed and i'm telling you I just did not, we were not on yesterday, mm. you know. I said to one of my leaders today, I said, no one called, no, no one checked in to see why we weren't on. Yeah. But I, it's just, it's a lot of, a lot was happening. And, and today, I have like, I don't know if I feel like going on. My daughter said, we are coming on tonight. And I'm on the bed, the Lord starts speaking to me. The Lord just starts speaking. Let me tell you Thank something. You, God. God cares for you. That's it. God loves you. You know, there's my there's a scripture that uh, it's in the message. I can't remember exactly where it's from, but it's a scripture that God dropped in my mm. heart as soon as we went into quarantine. Jesus. And it says that God is not out of touch with our reality. Mm -hmm. mm. He's not. Oh, However, you feel again. God mm. is not out of touch with our mm. reality. Mm. How you feel, what is happening in your environment, mm. what is happening in your marriage, what's happening with your children. God is not out of touch with mm. that reality. He's not out of touch. <laughs> I could see some of them saying, how the man of God didn't feel like, because I'm, 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 I'm... He's not out of touch. I'm he knows how we feel. He I'm knows, human he knows how we feel. You know. He so knows how we feel. He's not out of touch. I'm, I'm, I'm speaking to you tonight. God yeah. is not out of touch with our reality. Yeah. Your reality may be a place of depression. It may be a place of despair. It may be so many things, a place of brokenness. Mm. But but God is not out of touch with that reality. And it's from that same place that God continues to work. I don't want to say that God begins to work, mm. but he continues, continues to, to work. work. Beautiful, beautiful. He continues to work. Beautiful, beautiful. Hallelujah, yeah. hallelujah. Listen, again, if there's something that you heard tonight yeah. that really trigger something in your spirit you know that the Lord has spoken to you there was a yeah. word that 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 touched your heart I want you not you know I learned I learned one thing you know when I was coming up that every time God speaks yeah. every time I receive something I need to put seed in the ground that's right I learned that principle that every time God exactly every time something hits me every time there's a breakthrough there's a deliverance you know there's a revelation put seed in the ground and I want that's to encourage right. you tonight do not hesitate to go and sow, amen. If you have the um, if you have the the Republic Bank information, please go and sow. If you have the MMG, just go and sow. It's if you want to call right us, for those of you in Guyana here, you want to call us, yes. please do not hesitate to call us and go and sow. When God speaks to you, go and make sure that you put something in the ground. That's make right. sure that you put something. Whenever right. there's a revelation, make sure that you put That's something right. in, in the ground. That's Amen. Right. And so um, tonight again, um, I want to thank you so, so much, much so sure. much. You, you can shout some people. You can help us. I see so people. many people. Go ahead. To you. I see Joy Damon. Blessings to you tonight. Thank you for tuning in. Um, Pastor Kezia. Um, Keziah, thank you for tuning in. Deaconess. Um, Beverly. Allison. Carla Tyler, Ned. Shalon. Um, Deborah, so many people no are well, in tonight. Noel, mm -hmm. uh, um, um, uh, Miss Anne, so many people tuning, tuning. Miss Alva, Mark Pramon, Apostle, so Apostle Foy, and happy birthday uh, to you. Let me drop this. Let me just drop. Let me say this to you guys. Uh, this is my brother, my my brother Apostle Foy, all the way from BVI. He's on here right now. There was a book called Forty Days to Your Destiny." Yes. Let me tell you, book. in the new week, we're going to be talking about that book a little more because I'm telling you, um, if you were smart, for those of you that had that book, and I think that you can have it, you can find it on Amazon. I'm going to put it up That's on right. the screen right. on Sunday. But I want to encourage you. I like to promote. I like to promote my friends. I do that all the time. Yeah. Um, I want to encourage you to go out and purchase that book. Listen, if you're going to buy a hard copy, a digital copy, whatever, 
and and it's gonna help you to to, to to navigate your life in this season are you with me I believe that it's a it's a relevant book for this time it was written by my brother by my friend Apostle Cornel Foy out yes, of sir. the BVI listen you need to go out and get that book also we have lots of projects on iTunes please yes. do not hesitate to go and purchase our That's music right. Amen. We have lots of those. We have some more stuff coming. Listen, we have to support our own in this hour. That's Amen. Right. Support your own in this hour. Yes. So I want to encourage those of you on here tonight to go out and get that. I see Jadiel, you're on. Joy Damon. Um, Someone is asking if it's available on Amazon. Yes, it is. Yes, this book is, yeah. available, is available on Amazon. Yeah. Go type in it. I'm going to put the, the information there. Go check it out. That's right. Listen, this is a time. If For those of you that don't read you need if you're gonna lead you got to read that's right amen that's right. you gotta read one of the things in my home people in my home always read it we always read it one of the, the, the we our, our our library back in the day was not bigger than our television that's right <laughs> you know i tell people if, if your television bigger than your library you had a problem back in those days now you can get the stuff digital but we can, yeah. we can tell you we had this huge library with a whole lot of books that's right. and, you know and you know also so i'm yeah. glad you mentioned about reading because we were talking about that last week and it's so important the material that you're yeah. using right now yeah the material that you're logging on to you know i was just thinking a couple days back when i uh, about in April or so, or March, I believe, I started reading a book which was about a 10 weeks process. Yeah. And I've, I'm going to come to the last week. Mm -hmm. And I was asking God today, I said, what is the next, what is the next thing that you want me to read? You know, and during that book, I, I, be, I, I feel that I've matured in so much more. Yes. And, you know, but I know I'm living, I, I live, she live in my house, so I can tell <laughs> you she has matured so much. And you hear yeah. the type of ministry, the level of ministry that is coming out. Yes. So um, I encourage you guys to get that, get that book. That book is so key. It's so important. When, when um, Apostle Fry came here last year and he blessed us with that book, so many people in our, in our congregation, they bought that, that book and their lives have been transformed. So get that book up. Four days I'm gonna get it. I want to put bring it and just show you it for a minute because yeah, I want you to book. get that book. I'm Maybe telling you. And that. there's so much other material out there. You just ask the Spirit of God to navigate you to what is relevant to the season that you're in your life, and and, and you know just stay through. Be consistent. That's just, that's a key thing when you're reading. Yes. Be consistent, and it's not just only about reading the book, but you need to have your Bible side by side. Yes, and, and allow, apply whatever it is that you that's read. That's it. That's right. Allow that word, allow even greater revelation to come out of the word even yes. as you read that book. So don't become so dependent upon that book. And there are things that you would have read before that the Lord will have you read again. That's so true. Are that's you so with true. me? That's so there true. are things that I've read, that's the true. Lord have me reading it again. That's so because true. there are some things that you would have missed. And he wants to refresh right. your mind right. and your memory. That's and right. so That's go right. it over again. Don't That's don't right. hesitate. You know what I'm saying? Go it over again. There's something in it for you. And you know, grab your Bibles. You know, some of you have not even been reading your Bible. Grab your Bible no. and, and, and and just get in there. Sometimes there's there, there are things in there that just make you smile sometimes. Wow. I'm telling you. <laughs> you know? There are things oh, that make you so much smile. Yeah, there's so much I'm talking about this book tonight because I'm going to be, we're yeah, going to be talking a, more about this book. It's a very powerful book. Yeah. 40 Days to Your Destiny. Yes. And let me tell you, this reset. man of God was reset. ahead of his set. It's time. Yes. It's called Reset. Let me yes. see if I, you can see this here. Can you see this? Bring it a little bit You can see it? Mm. Y'all seen it? You see it there? That's the name of the book. That's the book. 40 Days to Your Destiny. Yes. Reset. Let me tell you where some of the... And we're going to be going through this book next oh, week. Oh, is that Mom's Notes Or from notes Friday. Oh, Mom's <laughs> Notes. Mom's Notes. <laughs> you know, we're going to be going to go through some of these things in here. You know what I'm saying? It's a This is how we grow. Book. It talks about um, uh, Arise and Shine, Day 2. And they have different days. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It talks about, um, it's a beautiful morning, the authority of the Lord, grace. It talks about uh, Jesus Christ lives big in me today. Our inheritance is in Christ. Yes. Drawing uh, the dawning of a new day. Harvest time, marriage and relationships. Yes. You, see what, you see what is in here? Marriage and relationships. It, it speaks of uh, forgiveness. Um, man, governance, peace, yes. love, joy. There's so many things in here. There's something for every single day. Right. something for every single day and we're going to spend some time going through it because i believe that god wants to build his people up amen yes. so um again 
Um, we want to say thank you so much to all those of you that have logged in, those of you that have joined. If you have this book for some of those of you, because we had, we had a lot of persons from church that had this book. Yeah. And I know some of you got it on the shelf. Some of you probably never Take went it to off it. The shelf. Take it off the shelf. Put it in your spirit. And even if you've read it already, right? Read it again. Read it again. Because mm -hmm. the book itself says reset. And that's what God is doing. He's resetting us in this hour. That's what is happening. He's resetting us in this hour. That's what is happening. So we thank you tonight for all those of you who have tuned in to this broadcast. God is speaking in such a, in such a profound way, in such a miraculous yes. way. And we are grateful for you guys to um, tune in tonight. Uh, don't forget that you can give. There are three ways that you can sow into this ministry. Apostle Sean just talked about the import importance of sowing a seed after God has uh, brought revelation to you. Yes. You can do so via our Republic Bank account number. You can visit our page or you can contact us via message on Facebook and we'll be able to give you further information. You can also do so, do um, giving by um, MMG, that is the number 6224400 or 6504183. The numbers are 6224400 or 6504183 for MMG if you want to give in that way. And thirdly, you can also give at the church office. That's on Tuesdays. Apostle Sean and Prophet Michelle, they are there for a short period of time. And you can call on those same numbers I mentioned before, and you'll be able to contact them. Um, stay tuned. We have our, our broadcast that is going to come forward on Friday night at 7 p.m. And it's going to be so great. <laughs> We don't know who's going to come and sit in this chair. That's the, that's the reality of it. And even though God speaks to us in our time of devotion about what he wants us to speak, God just sometimes just flip the script, be, be dependent yes. on the need of his people. Yes. So you have to tune in. We encourage you to share this broadcast. and Comment, like, share, go like the page, share the page with someone. Even go on YouTube. We have a lot of projects that are there. It's at Jew Worship on YouTube. And just be a part of what God is doing. You want to ensure that what you're listening to, what you're feeling, your mind, the environment that you're in, is, is conducive to what God is doing in this hour for you. Don't forget tonight that you are unstoppable. There's nothing that can stop what God is doing in your life. And nothing can stop you in this hour and time. And God is the one who is building you, transforming you, yes. and reconstructing you, resetting you in this time. So stay focused and look to the one who is your rock. We love you and thank you for tuning in tonight. God bless you so much. God so on behalf of the leadership and the members of yes. the Destiny Empowerment yes. Worship Center, yes. we say love God, love you, and peace Hallelujah. out. Listen. The Lord bless you. The Lord yes. keep you. Amen. The Lord be gracious unto you. The yes. Lord lift up the light of his countenance unto yes. you. And the Lord grant you his divine peace, both now and forever. In Jesus' name, amen. Do you have that song for me? Amen. Y'all know I love this song, right? Tehita's going to play it. Y'all know I love this song so much. <laughs> <laughs> play that song. Glory to God. This was a good one. We believe your word. We receive your blessing. We believe everything that you said. Amen. It is so. It is.
shine.